Hi, Vacation Bible School friends at Wrightsville United Methodist Church. I'm Miss Donna, and I'd like to spend a few minutes with you to talk about missions. So, what's a mission? Well, another word I like to use is outreach, when we reach out to our neighbors. Jesus asked us as Christians to love our neighbors, but he didn't just mean the friends that live next door or down the street or the kids we meet in school or the playground or the beach. Jesus told us that all people are our neighbors, those that don't look like us or those who don't dress like us or those who live in other countries, even those people that sometimes we might not like very much. We still have to love them. Sometimes that's really hard to do. But there's a verse in the book of the Bible called Philippians that says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. So Jesus gives us strength to reach out to all our neighbors, not just our friends. This book of the Bible, Philippians, was written by a man named Paul, who was a follower of Jesus. He made many trips throughout the Middle East preaching the teachings of Jesus. But these teachings got him in big trouble, and he was put in prison. Here's a picture of him in prison. You can see that he's got chains on his feet where he's been put into a prison. But while he was in prison, he wrote letters to the people he had visited on his preaching trips. And one of those areas where he preached was called Philippi. Now, this is a picture of Philippi today in ruins. But you can just see by how big all of the buildings are and the columns and the ruins that this was a pretty major city probably way back when Jesus, right after Jesus was alive and when Paul was alive. So he wrote these letters and it was in the letter to he, that he wrote to the Philippians, the people who lived in Philippi, where we find the words, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. So now that we know that Jesus has given us strength to do all things, including the strength to work, reach out to all of our neighbors, not just our friends or those from school or church or gymnastics or soccer, I wanna share with you a way that we can reach out to our neighbors who need our help. And we can help those in the community of Wilmington through an organization called Nourish NC. This is a picture of um, the way that they advertise Nourish NC on the internet. This is their, what's called a logo. And you can see on the logo that there's an apple that's made of many, many, many different colors. And you can see that there's a fork in the word nourish. And the words at the bottom say, nourishing children where they live and learn and play. So let's first talk about the word nourish. That's kind of a big word, but what does it mean exactly? Well, it means to provide food needed for growth and good health. And NC, well, those are the initials for North Carolina. So Nourish NC was formed to provide food for growth and good health in North Carolina especially children living in the Wilmington area. Nourish NC was the idea of a man named Mr. Steve. Here's a picture of Mr. Steve. He's one of my personal heroes. So Mr. Steve and others like-minded wanted to help children in Wilmington who didn't have enough food to eat. And in fact, in Wilmington, just to show you what that means, one in five children in Wilmington go hungry. Nourish NC relies on the goodness of people like you and me and your parents and our church members who want to show love for our neighbors. We show our love by bringing healthy food items to church during our Nourish NC food drives. We show you a picture of some of the food that we collected in the last food drive that we had 
that was in January. You can see all the different things that we collected to take to nourish. So after we collected it all, we uh, delivered it to the warehouse. And then we, and this is a picture of where we delivered all this. Look at all that stuff. And we show our love in another way by volunteering to pack boxes of food at the warehouse. So the first picture I want to show you of this is 10 of our church members from Wrightsville United Methodist Church that volunteered at Nourish oh, about four weeks ago. So when you get to Nourish, you see shelves of food and cans and cereal and snacks. This is just an example of some things that other people have donated in addition to our friends at Wrightsville Church. So when you go to volunteer, you pack boxes of food for families whose children are hungry. And you can see in that box, there's milk and spaghetti and rice and all kinds of good things to eat that will make children grow healthy. So after the boxes are packed, this is what it looks like when the boxes are ready to be delivered or to be picked up by families. When our church members went to Nourish a couple of weeks ago, they packed 100 boxes of food. The love for our neighbors grows even more when the food is picked up by people whose cabinets are empty and children are hungry. These boxes are called break boxes. Summer break, spring break, fall break, holidays. And Nourish MC provides all children in their program with at least three meals a day, healthy snacks, juice, milk, and fresh, fresh produce, which is vegetables and, and good fruits, for the children to have during these school breaks. These are the times of year when kids are not in school and so they don't get breakfast and lunch in the school cafeteria like they do when school is in session. During the school year, Nourish also provides backpacks to certain children on Friday afternoons. And the backpacks are filled with eight meals, six snacks, milk or juice, and some more good fresh fruit and vegetables every weekend when the kids are away from school on Saturday and Sunday and don't get breakfast and lunch at school. Here's a picture of the kinds of things that go into a backpack. And you can see there's oranges and cereal and um, other things that will, again, be healthy for these, our, your, our neighbors. The backpack program is for kids that are in grades kindergarten to fifth grade. And it's intended to get them back in school on Monday morning, happy, healthy, and ready to learn. During this week at Vacation Bible School, we're collecting foods to be delivered to nourish and then given to families who are in need. Let's talk about why a family might not be able to buy food for their children. Well, maybe their parents don't have a job right now or their parents might be sick and can't work or they, they may work and they don't have enough money for food plus everything else that they have to pay for like electricity and water and medicine and doctor visits. All of these people are our neighbors and we can show our love for them by helping fill their cabinets with food so their children can be fed. So this week, ask your grown up to add some of the following foods to their grocery cart. Nourish has asked us to provide the following foods for their the break boxes, regular size cereal, peanut butter in glass in jars that are not glass, jelly in jars that are not glass, spaghetti sauce in cans or in plastic, again, not in glass jars, canned chicken, and cans of soup and stews filled with meat and good vegetables. You'll find that there is joy in giving to all of our neighbors and that Jesus has given us the strength 
to reach out to all of our, re our neighbors. Remember, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. So will you pray with me for just a minute? Let's bow our heads. Dear God, thank you for your son, Jesus, and for the strength he gives us to do all things, including providing food to all of our neighbors. Amen. Thanks.